Bonjour à tous. On se retrouve Bonjour à tous. dans cette magnifique ville de... Genève Genève <rire> T'as mis un petit moment là Ouais, je... <rire> Ok, c'est le matin, c'est très tôt. Ouais. On a l'interview avec Stan à 9h chez Franz Kalvaber qui nous a invité. On est donc samedi 1er avril et non, c'est pas une blague, on va vraiment interviewer Stanislav Janowski. C'est celui qui joue Victor Krem dans Harry Potter la Coupe de Feu et qui a fait une apparition aussi dans les Reliques de la Mort, la partie 1. C'était il y a... 15. <rire> Oula 15 15 15 18 18 18 ans, hein 18 C'est 2005 18 5 2023, vite, tu calcules là Ah, oh, j'ai pas voilà, la tête ouais. de calculer ouais. là Let's go pour la petite visite Petite visite et interview petite. Exact T'es chaude Je suis chaude Faire euh, signer... Euh... Ah ouais, la petite pop, c'est quoi comme pop Victor Crumb Ah, let's go Thanks a lot, Stan, to be with us today. It's a great pleasure and a great honor for us. We might have a few questions to, I hope for you. So. I hope so. So you start with the generic one. Do you find yourself in the same magic as before, meaning uh, when the movies get out? A similar. It's, it's an ongoing magic. Uh, it, it's different to what it was um, not too long ago. <laughs> you know, it's been quite a few years. Uh, the hype is still quite the same. Uh, but we have new generations of fans, which is a phenomenon. So it, it's cross generations, yes, right? Yes, yes. It's, it's, like, um, uh, it's, it's a very, very unique fandom. It's because it's like 18 years that the movie get out, Why right? Why did you have to mention this? Uh, yeah, it was yeah. not too long. Oh, sorry. Ago. Yeah, <laughs> getting old, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're only getting better. Like fine that's true, wine. That's true. How much can you and you are still in this magical world today? How much? How oh, much? All the time. <laughs> every time, every day. Every day, all the time, you know, at least once. Uh, once. How has uh, Harry Potter defined your career? Oh, it, it was a trampoline, you know. My very first big professional job, worldwide fame. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, it gave me a direction to follow with acting. And, you know, here I am today. Another one, maybe more on the fame and hype side. Mm -hmm. Are you still recognized in, uh, in the streets nowadays? Yes, yes. Yeah? It depends where I go, um, you know, how much people concentrate on finding out who I am, but I change looks all the time. Mm -hmm. It's something I do, you know, I um, you know, cut my hair, or change moustache, beard, you know. So it's difficult to catch my look. So okay. uh, when they discover me, usually it's in the most bizarre ways. Mm -hmm most unexpected. They go like, oh, I'm like, how did you, I cannot recognize myself. Then you come and tell me I'm, you know, Stan. And they're <laughs> like, oh, I'm a big fan. I follow you on, you know, social media. And, you, and you, sometimes you have people like, doesn't trust you? Like, no, no, that's not you. That's not possible. Oh, yes. I've had this many times. They're yeah? like, oh, you look like, I'm like, okay, <laughs> we look alike. So they recognize, but like, yeah. they don't trust you. They're like, do you know you look like Victor Crumb from Harry Potter? I'm like, oh, You mean the actor Stan? Yes, yes, you look very much like him. <laughs> I'm like, I am. No, 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 you look like him. <laughs> But you're not. <laughs> yeah. Your real physique has changed quite a lot, right? Since uh, oh, yeah. you recorded the, the movie. Is that because you don't want to be recognized anymore? Or is that something else? You mean physique as body? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, built, I've uh, been, yeah, I've been training all my life, so it's just progress. Now I'm aiming to do something for this summer, you know, tone down, get the abs out and... Preparations. Yeah. And be honest with me, uh, how many hours have you played uh, Hogwarts Legacy? I haven't played it. No way. I haven't played it at all. So you're not a real gamer? Oh, no, I am. Oh, you are? <laughs> Which kind of games, then? Huh? I've pre-ordered Diablo. Yes, okay. uh, I've awesome. been, you know, I'm, I'm a bit old school, old okay. generation. But you never play Hogwarts Legacy, why? Uh, it's a specific thing. I want to enjoy it in a different way. I want to give it time. I don't have the physical time to sit down and I'm, you know, currently doing too many things. But before it came out, I already had interviews and I had stuff to do with with the game and it looks, it looks incredible. Yeah, yeah, mostly the game. And I've seen that. a lot of, you know, um, material online, people streaming and, you know, it came out, they didn't sleep for days. I know yeah. people who 
probably still haven't slept. Yeah, yeah, because of the game. Yeah. They're still awake today. Yeah, yeah, just like... <laughs> but, you know, we, we've all been there, you know, yeah, we've all yeah. done that. It's, it's good to, to have a geek side, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to but I'm happy that you have one. Est-ce que tu as aimé ta voix française dans Harry Potter? <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't speak much in the film. I've heard, uh, you know, dubbing. It's, it's interesting every time, you know, you, you hear someone, I mean, obviously I know the real guys, you know, the, the real actors and their voices. And then all of a sudden it's like a different voice. I'm like, ooh. Yeah, is that really me uh, who's speaking, yeah, right? Yeah, it, it sounds, um, it, it's always interesting to hear. I mean, you know, even when you hear yourself. Est-ce que tu as déjà doublé dans les films? Well, not dubbed, I have done voice just like uh, cartoon things and it's very difficult you know people think it's it's easy to play the voice of something yeah yeah it's but not it's that not. easy no yeah. not easy at all you know you have something else or someone else doing the acting and then you have to react mm -hmm. over his acting or you know their acting you really have to be acting but you're not in front of the camera with your voice yeah and, you know and you have to match it's it's tricky Such But a, you know, with technology now, they, they put all these things on your face yes. and then computer mimics. Yeah, yeah. So it makes things easier. Are you fascinated about uh, this kind of uh, technology? Yes, it's, it's incredible. You know, I mean, uh, you know, I have tattoos. And a few years ago, it was a problem. They'd be like, oh, you need to come in at five o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. We need mm -hmm. to cover tattoos. Now it's just, you know, latex skin. They, they put like two minutes and. Yeah. Everything disappears and makes you get things a new... easier for us, yeah. If you had a magic baguette, what would be That would be global. It would be, you know, to save the planet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> things to do with, you know, humans uh, living in peace and health and, you know, in harmony with nature. So that kind of stuff. And we saw on your socials that you're really uh, an adventurer, a nature guy. Yes. This is so Qing, you expected uh, this answer already. <laughs> no, I'm not expecting, but uh, I was willing what's going to be your answer because you're really a natural guy and uh, it breaks the, the image that we have of you. Oh, yeah. Like you're a magician, right? Well, you know, I think we as, as humans need to step back a bit and, you know, rethink our living mm -hmm. on this planet, you know, as a whole. But, you know, this is philosophy. It's, it's my way of... Uh, but yeah, but it's important. I yeah, I think it's important because, you know, there, there is a lot of unnecessary things going on mm -hmm. worldwide. Mm -hmm. Divisions and mm -hmm. fighting and just stuff we don't really need. I mean, exactly. What is there to fight about? You know, the mm -hmm. planet is mm -hmm. for everybody. Exactly. Nature is for everybody and, you know, um, colleagues and people who have fame, yeah. they, they work, you know, for saving the oceans and all the plastic yeah. in yeah. the ocean and rivers and pollution and, yeah, th this is what mm. you should be using yeah. magic for. This is a nice one, I like it. Oh yeah, keep the passion going, you know, have the big hearts and enjoy. Cross generations. Cross generations, pass on, tell your um, stories to the kids and <laughs> just, you know, don't grow up. Yeah. Good one. Don't grow up. Ne grandis pas. Thank you so much, Stan. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Yes. And it was a great pleasure. And we hope to uh, see us again soon. Oh, definitely, yes. Wish you all the health and good luck. And please come see us on Twitch. Definitely. We're waiting for you. Good, good <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you very much. quelqu'un qui a tourné dans un des plus grands classiques de notre génération en fait. C'est intéressant de voir aussi qu'il y a encore des générations d'aujourd'hui 
qui regardent ce Harry Potter et qui a plein de gamins et tout, c'est super. Bah, c'est juste demain que je parle pas anglais. Quoi. Voilà. Ouais, et du coup, je... tu vas apprendre l'anglais. Je pense, ouais, ça me motiverait, ouais. Ouais. Bah, c'est vrai que c'est demain, du coup, je peux pas bien communiquer avec lui, quoi. Est-ce qu'il y a un prof qui regarde cette vidéo, un prof d'anglais ou une prof d'anglais, <rire> euh, un commentaire <rire> euh, vous, vous balancez <rire> vos coordonnées, elle vous contacte pour les cours d'anglais. Bonne euh, chance. <rire> Ça fait dédicacer aussi ta pop, donc t'es oui. contente. Oui. Merci encore à France Carveber de nous avoir permis d'interviewer Stan et euh, pour avoir passé cette journée dans ce shop qui est juste incroyable, énorme. Euh, tout est joli, t'as envie de tout acheter. Sinon, bah, on se retrouve sur Twitch. Yes. Hein ciao Alors, tout le monde. C'est ciao. <laughs> nice tattoos. Ah, <laughs> <laughs>